This right here is a ECU, commonly known as MCN on Cascadia SDD15 engines. Uh, and today we're going to talk about this ECU. Uh, the point of showing you this specific module is because we had the issue then a truck was over the road and suddenly it was losing power, eventually the engine will die and it was not going it was not responding at all, it was cranking, but not responding, it was not starting, it was not doing anything. After a while, the uh, engine started back up with no problems, it ran, and then it died out, and it continued doing similar things like that because of this the ECU. But it is not just because the ECU goes bad, mm, it is not that common to see ECUs going bad you know, like just for no reason going bad, they usually last pretty long time, 600,000 miles, 1 million miles, depending on the condition, depending on the roads your truck uh, some drives around. So in this case, it's completely different because we have this ECU, then water went in, and how water went in, well, I don't know. There is not, there is not a, a explanation for that. The only explanation I think about the uh, water went in the connectors. If you get closer to it, you're gonna see water inside the connectors, and um, that is not really good for ECUs. Water went in, in the ECU, but not just the ECU. The ECU, yes, got water, the corrosion here, but also the whole entire harness, the whole plugs around the engine, they got water in their in the plugs. I mean, you can see we have corrosion in every single plug. There are some that don't have corrosion. There are some that have a lot of corrosion and there are some that, that have some moisture on them. So how this happened? Well, I believe then what happened here on this ECU or, or this truck in, in, in general, because the truck is the one that got damaged. So what happened is then probably the truck was, you know, going over the road and there was a big, uh, uh, a big storm or there was uh, there was water on the road and the truck driver didn't actually pay attention it's, it's normal I mean when you're driving it happens and you are focusing on the road and especially at night you cannot see water on the road so eventually you're gonna feel it because you are going fast then you're gonna feel that the truck is moving left and right because water is very strong on the road so it's very uh, a very strong mass over the road so so because the tires are going to push the water to the side once the uh, the tire is in contact with the water this water is gonna go exactly to the engine bay and everything in there is exposed to the environment so it is going to get sucked with water and uh, that could be one of the reasons also another reason is probably the engine was with the hood open for a long time and water started pouring and and uh, the rain just sucked the whole engine and and water you know eventually is going to go in but uh, there is no uh, a physical explanation there is no a, a proper explanation I can say about it because I, did, I don't know how this happened but the point is then we have water all over the place so what we have to do now what is the solution to this problem that will be a, the, good, the good question for you so if you get the issue then you have water on your harness you have water on your uh, ECU plug um, it's most, it's most likely that you're going to have water as well um, inside your ECU because, you know, the main ECU plug is directly connected to the bore of the, uh, of the chips that are controlling the ECU. So uh, if water stays there for a long time, eventually it's going to get in the bore inside the ECU and it's going to start messing with the electronics. As you can see on this specific ECU, there, there, there was water everywhere, uh, there was corrosion, and you know, water is not so easy to get out once it goes in. So you, have, you actually have to take the computer, the ECU apart, to actually get it exposed with heat or with the atmosphere temperature, so the water can just, you know, go away. But this doesn't mean that the ECU is gonna be good, 
once water goes inside the ECU, it's most likely the ECU is gone, so you have to replace the ECU. Um, the solution will be, in this case, obviously replacing this ECU, and sadly, this is a brand new ECU that was replaced not too long ago, but it went bad. Also, we have to actually see from where the water went in. I have no idea where, what was the location where the, actual, the water will filter inside the harness because I believe the water started actually getting inside the, one of the plugs of the engine harness and it just started going in liter by liter and you know, the harness is one piece connected all the way to the ECU. So eventually the, you know, a liter drop of, a liter drops of water where it's, we're uh, getting inside the ECU plug and you know, we don't need that much water inside the ECU to damage it. Um, now, uh, if you have the question, for example, like if we can reuse this ECU, um, I have no idea if we can reuse this ECU. Of course, right, uh, after I expose this uh, ECU to the temperature right now, we are at 80 degrees right now, so water goes away, I mean, it's going to evaporate pretty easy. So um, after doing that, I know for sure that the ECU is completely dry. I plug it back and the engine start, it runs, no problems. So we still have uh, stains, corrosion stains, which means then uh, it's possible then this component, this ECU, this board is going to have a future corrosion and um, it's going to destroy a specific electronic um, a circuit, then it's going to make some kind of like fall, then it's going to be internally caused by the ECU. So it, that will be your decision because this is like a $1,600 component so it's kind of expensive so uh, reusing this component is like a 50 50 right now it's working if it doesn't work at all don't reuse it of course but in this case it's working so that will be up to the customer to decide if he wants to replace it of course the recommendation the actual recommendation replace the ECU there is no other way I, I cannot recommend you to reuse it but you know uh, I know the situation is hard especially right now we are ending 2022 and it's very hard to maintain these trucks running and lots are not paying pretty well so I know for sure then opting for a this for an option then it's lower in cost will be always better, at least to get to a point and we can get more money to repair the trucks the way they're supposed to be repaired. So um, up to right now, um, it is up to the client to decide. Of course, if, if, if this were up to me, I will just, you know, replace the ECU entirely. No questions asked because I know, you know, it's normal. I mean, you have water inside the ECU, any type of moisture inside the ECU, that's definitely a reason why the ECU has to be replaced because eventually uh, the ECU is going to give you different faults, different problems and different type of uh, um, uh, anomalies when you're driving the truck. So that is going to be caused internally for the ECU and probably you won't know because probably you won't remember then the ECU was soaked with water. So um, up to right now, I will just say then we're going to leave this to the client to decide if he wants to reuse it. But if we do reuse this ECU, we have to clean all the corrosion Then it is on the plugs. And we have to clean the corrosion that is on the board to the best we can. Uh, probably we can uh, do our best to apply any type of uh, uh, material, any type of liquid that will prevent any shorts or will actually prevent corrosion inside the ECU signs. We have corrosion already because, you know, liquid water in this case can actually destroy anything that is in contact with ox oxygen and metal. So in this case, all this is metal, so it's going to get destroyed pretty easy with water, especially then this is not a very strong metal, it's pretty light metal, so the ca it can be damaged pretty easy. So uh, here is uh, an example. And in the past, not too long ago, like a couple months ago, I did a video talking about uh, another truck with a similar problem. In this case, this truck had the issue, then um, 
Wire went inside the cabin and it was destroying, it destroyed the free relays in the fuse box. The relays went, uh, got wet with water and uh, they start messing with the cabin power. They were going on, off, on, off, and situations like that. And I have the video, you can see it on my other channel. I mean, you can see that video. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be post right now or later, but they will be uh, on my channel. So, but uh, in this case, the ECU, the ECU is harder, uh, uh, expensive component, we can say more expensive and harder to know the issue because uh, uh, you have to actually research where uh, the location of the problem. If for any reason, um, you go to an uh, area that is raining heavily and after that you feel that the engine is not working properly or you feel that there is an issue, you be sure to unplug this big plug of the ECU, this one right here. So in case there is any liquid, any water in here, it can dry out. If you don't do that, eventually, even though the water cannot go in, sometimes water doesn't go in, even though in the plug can have water inside, doesn't mean the water will filter inside the ECU. Sometimes it stays out the ECU. So if water doesn't filter inside the ECU, still the pins can get destroyed. And once one of the pins get destroyed, then you're gonna have to replace the ECU. So if for any reason you see that the truck is going into a very heavy storm, or you think that you have any type of fluid inside your ECU, unplug this big plug, and then you're gonna see if there is water, it will just dry out and you don't have to replace a expensive component like this one, just recommendations to you. But um, this is just a video showing you the problems, more problems about these uh, trucks. And this is one of the very unusual problems. As I say, ECUs don't usually go bad um, that often. So they go bad for different reasons. Uh, I can explain more reasons, but it will, that's, a different video I can do that and um, but in this case water is one of the main reasons what I see you can get destroyed and plus before I finish this video I'm gonna mention then DD15s DD13s DD16s engines they have the problem then the ECU is very low it's like in this position in the engine so it's very close to the ground so any water that is actually you know on the road can jump off and get to the ECU pretty easy. So if the ECU is not very well secure or waterproof or anything, or it's been opened before and wasn't sealed properly, you know, water is gonna filter inside and it's gonna destroy it pretty easy. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this video talking about this ECU and you have any uh, questions or you have any experience if you ever happen to have the problem like this one then uh, hey you know the ECU went bad for different reasons you can comment below and share your opinion with you know other viewers because uh, it's important to share your opinion signs uh, we all know then problems are supposed to happen at any time but solutions are very hard to find so if you have the solution for a problem then you know probably a viewer is wondering right now you can comment below and um, Remember to subscribe to the channel, it's very important. Also, you can uh, uh, follow me on Instagram, you can see different things that I'm doing on my channel, I mean, on my day-by-day -day operations. And uh, I already say subscribe, right? So, um, like the video, share it, and thank you for watching.